climatologists say there is more winter behind us than in front of us. Yay! And that means we can start to think of spring. When I think spring, I think succulents. Gardening expert Antonio Valente is back, showing us how wreaths made out of these pretty little greens can brighten up any home. Welcome back, Antonio. Thanks, Mo. Okay, I love this. Uh, succulents and wreaths, mm -hmm. indoor wreaths. Yes, this, this is, is indoor wreaths. This is the best way for I can think of to kickstart our uh, countdown to spring. So Absolutely. where do we start? Totally. Okay, the first thing we're going to need is a wire wreath form. Okay. Similar to this one here. Beautiful. We're going to need some sphagnum moss. Did you just swear? No. What? No. What is it's no, moss. Just sphagnum, Spe sphagnum raw. Moss. 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 Good, good. Pre-moistened. You're going to have to pre-moisten it because okay. it comes to you quite dry. Okay. And then some floral wire. Okay, great. So there's a good place to start. Okay. Let's, yes. Yeah, look, we're going to continue here for a second. You'll notice that the wreath has a cavity in it. It's quite empty. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do with our wire, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but I've started to already oh, sort yeah. of weave the wire in and mm -hmm. out. Yep. Okay, and you're going to just want to work sections, section by section just like that. You don't okay. want to go too far. Okay, let's take the wire. So literally Ooh. we're going to do this around the entire wreath? Yeah, but we're only going to go about that far, mm -hmm. yay far what I just showed you, because what you're going to do is you're going to take the moss and you're going to be stuffing it in, in behind our wire. Ah, I Okay, see. so that's why you don't want to go too far once you've done that section. Move on. A little bit of wire, a little bit of moss, a little bit of wire, wire. until you're completely done. Okay. And you're at this point here. All right. So this is what that will look like after a little bit of work. Yep. So I can see how the wire is there holding all of this yep. moss in. The it's moss still is, moist. Yeah, it's still moist. You're following us here, so that's and great. it's all secure. And this is yeah. where the artistry yes, comes in. Absolutely. Antonio, how are we going to get these succulents from here to in here? Okay, so this is a succulent plug. This is what you would call... Um, referred to as a plug. It's just okay. basically a baby succulent, a small succulent it's cutting. So cute. Yeah, and it's got some soil and some roots attached to it. Okay. What we're going to want to do though is strip all the soil in the roots. I know that sounds counterproductive. Yes. But succulents are very um, resilient. Very resilient. Okay. Very will readily reroot themselves. Okay. So okay. you can see I've. Uh, removed all, if not most. Did you just do that by hand? Yes. You strip them by yeah. hand. Okay, most great. Most of the soil and the roots. Okay. From there, we're going to take either a screwdriver mm -hmm. or a pencil, whatever okay. you happen to have handy. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you want to take that. You can do one. And you're just going to insert holes into our wreath. Like so? Yep. Okay. Okay, very good. Great. This seems easy enough. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to guess, Antonio. Yeah. That those succulents are now going to get their home in here. Yes. Okay. Full smart. Okay, very good. You're okay. going to insert that. Now, just to secure that, you're going to use what's called a greening pen. Okay, it's basically just a U-shaped bobby pen. I have about 600 in my hair right now. <laughs> so you could, we'll take it's not the same thing, can, right? No. <laughs> These then, extensions don't stay in by themselves, Antonio. <laughs> and then we're okay. going to just secure the succulent with one of the greening pens, and that just keeps it in its place. Okay, I have some basic questions for you. So okay. succulents are available year round through your florist or gardening Yes, this center. all the succulents we're using today are tropical succulents. Keep them inside all year long. We could make an outdoor version of this okay. if we used outdoor succulents called Sempervivum. Okay. But like I said, uh, you know, this is a great winter project. It's a great winter project. So, I mean, how many, if you were to try to estimate, as we're going to take a look at our final product in a second, okay. how many succulents are you thinking to make a really nice full wreath like this. Okay, so the finished product, which we're going to get to in a second, I used 52 succulents, but I packed them in pretty tight. Okay. Um, you know, you could get away with maybe half of that and just allow them to grow in and fill in. And, and okay, like so I'm going to put the last one in here. So I want to, there we go. Beautiful. Great. Are Thanks. succulents kind of cost effective or are, you, are they a little pricey? Uh, you know what? If you buy plugs like this, which are just basically small cuttings, they're actually not that bad. They're, they're actually pricey. not that bad. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I want to take a look at the final product, which is spectacular. You've done an amazing job on this one. Like I said, this is what gets me excited for spring. Yeah. So when you th say this is 52 of them, so the question number one is, where would you hang this and how okay. do you water this? Okay, watering it, a lot of people seem to think that you can just come around and mist it with a water bottle. Misting is okay for most plants, not succulents. Succulents okay. don't love to have their leaves wet. Okay. So you'll want to bottom water. So go to your sink, put in about an inch of water, and then just allow the wreath to just soak in there for about 20 minutes. Uh, it's, it'll sit in the sink. Yes, yeah, in about ah, an inch of water. Smart. And the moss will absorb uh, enough water to water the, the wreath for, you know, a good week. 
And when you say, okay, this you've done all this might take about a, an afternoon or so to yep. make this beautiful masterpiece. Yep. How long are you hoping this is going to last in your house? You'll get a good year out of this. And even once it starts growing and it starts losing its shape, just go in there with a clipper and just trim it. Keep because trim this is going to get full. Yeah, it will get full. It'll yeah, get quite yeah. Full. Oh, and the other tip is you'll want to enjoy the wreath flat for about a month because you want to um, give the succulents a chance to root out into the moss and that'll help to secure them in there. And then once they're pretty, you know, anchored in there, then you can hang it up on a wall. So oh, give them about a month to establish great. themselves. It is absolutely beautiful and a great way for us to start to really think about spring. spring. That is just yes. around the corner. No, come please, spring. Come please. I love you. You're getting ready for it spring, in can your you colors. Hear me? Can you hear <laughs> me? Antonio, this is really beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you so much for Thank bringing you. this Thanks to so us much. this morning.